this is a, uh, a cow with a septic arthritis. They did a surgery to fuse P2, P3. And uh, this is a block of wood. Um, one of the things you'll see very commonly done uh, in cattle, usually one claw or one digit is affected. Uh, so the P3 or P3, P2, rarely P1, P2. So uh, to allow pain relief uh, with the animal lateral, oftentimes on a table, we'll go in and we'll glue with acrylic glue uh, a block of wood to the good hoof. And that way when they stand back up, all of their weight is going on the good hoof and keeping the weight off the injured uh, hoof. And then they can walk and ambulate and do pretty well. So, and it probably helps with healing some degree as well. So that's really common. Now they had this animal on fluorophenicol, but here they also opted to go with IV regional. So this is why the animal is, in most species, typically they're anesthetized. Now here in cattle, I probably would uh, sedate them pretty heavily with xylazine and cast them. I don't know that you would have to do uh, full-blown anesthesia in a cow, but you apply a tourniquet uh, high uh, above the lesion and then put in a catheter in a vein distal to that, drain as much blood as you can out of it and then infuse your uh, concentrated antibiotic solution uh, and it goes retrograde back through the vein into the bone and joint and achieves very high local concentrations. So this would be repeated uh, multiple times, typically three to five times uh, on a daily basis.